now just about time to get it on gate is down here we go schoolboy one 12 to 17 who is it? watch that inside line start to come alive as riders rifle through that first turn here they come they shoot out of the cannon down the back stretch what do you got mega what I tell you what, Mikey, this is a fan. <laughs> I said, Mike, I tell you what, West has a fantastic view right now as they work their way back in. It is definitely Tiger Wood on the number 43 machine. Didn't want to make that call too early. He took control down there in the long short shoot. The long short shoot now through the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not bobble in the Ten Commandments if you want to get through there squeaky clean. Commandment three, thou shalt not drop the front end. Yeah, oh, watch those ruts. Owen Koval is uh, next to the 24. And I saw the nine of Clark Robbins, rider out of New Jersey. He's been doing well this week, but they're all chasing Tiger Wood. Right now, the young Australian. It's funny you mention that. Robin, one of the guys I just mentioned, I, mean, I got my eye on him. Got I've, second I've, yesterday, yeah. Yeah, yep. I've seen some stuff out of him. Very yep. impressive. Very Tiger, impressive. Tiger Wood down here from the MTF camp, always delivering out here. He's a multi-title Redland champion, but oh, oh, we got a Tumbolina out there. Hopefully, he springs back to his feet and gets back in the action. Got to tell you, seen some of these guys with cat-like reflexes, West back on their feet quick. These guys, highly trained athletes, but look at Tiger Wood right now, goes to the inside, protecting, riding defensive. We've got control of the racetrack right now. It is his race. He has anywhere on the racetrack he wants to go. He has clean air. He's not ripping through the tear-offs right now, but with that comes a heavy weight. You're trying to defend the 41 other best in the country. They're well, going to be kind of, but I think he's building up enough of a gap. These three riders, second, third, fourth, fifth, they're going to start hooking it up. You got Jessen Turner on the 57 in there as well. They're starting a battle, and Wood's starting to get away. Yeah, the problem is, once it's a three-man battle, you bog each other down. When it's a two-man battle, you're going to work your way up to Wood. No question about that. I have to agree with you 100% there. And you give Tiger Wood an opportunity like that, it's about like giving Jet Lawrence an opportunity. Well, when you're rolling around back in third, I call that the catbird seat. You're kind of back there drifting, watching these two guys battle out. They're playing offensive defense. That's a good eye and opportunity for you to just jump right in the mix and make a pass. Oh, Nathan Abbott, Kay Johnson, he had a little a couple of issues yesterday, finishing 10. He told me this morning, I'm going to rebound. So keep an eye on Kay Johnson on NSA Yamaha. Let's see what he can do, but Chance Lawton, too, in the mix. Man, 14th for Johnson on lap one. That's a problem right there. So watch the Yamaha, man, see if he can come through. This battle is really starting to rage for fourth on back. Look at this in the Ten Commandments. I tell you, one of our guys with all the heart, Anaki Abazur, clear back in the 20th position. Now, that's not going to deter him. You'll see heart of a champion coming out of Anaki on the number 51 machine. But, wow, deep in the pack right now. The 95 ride of Carter Malcolm out there out of the WMI camp. Willie Manning prepared machine. Rolling pretty good in there. He's from Colorado, but spends a lot of time down in Florida. Robin's got it done. He made the pass going into Storyland on Koval. So the number nine is up to second place. And then Koval, a little mistake in Storyland. And now Robin's is on his own here on this number nine to try to run with Tiger Wood. Yeah, that's the deal now. That's his focus. He's not trying to make a move now. He has to do one thing. First, we have to get to the fender. That's mission one. <laughs> okay, then we'll worry about mission two, making the pass. The 18th is Aller Cowler back there. Aller Cowler wow. looking pretty good. Caudell now trying to make something happen. He's got Head, Sullivan, Thompson, Johnson trying to make a move out there and get them bikes in the top 10. And look at Thor Powell. Thor Powell getting a pretty good start this time inside the top 10, running in that eighth position last time around. Thor, as we know, does double duty. The guy's always a contender for championships in the GNCC. One thing you're not going to do, you're not going to make the number 15 tired. I can tell you that. And you just look at that kid. He is in shape. He is. Yeah. I hate to say it. He's a little stud. Yeah, he, he is. is. Yep, yep yeah. for he sure. He up to the name Thor Powell. Absolutely. Well, you can see right there, Kay Johnson is going to be clicking in right now, but Tiger Wood punches the ticket. One more lap complete. It's Wood, Robbins, Carville, Turner, Malcolm, Hartz, Schaefer, Bass, Powell, and Bachelor all up in the top ten here up in the booth. Powell must have had a problem. Yeah. We got him outside the top yep. 10 now, so he must have had a bad lap. What has happened to Thor Powell? He had moved up to around eighth. Kate Johnson, though, he's moving up 11th place. He's moving on up like George Jefferson. He's headed up to the penthouse suite. <laughs> Shout out to Koval here from third. He got passed a lap ago, and it looked like Clark Robbins going to get away, but Koval is stuck with him. So third is right there with another tooth position rider, and that's still close as they're uh, out of Storyland, or in, sorry, out of the Ten Commandments into Storyland. Look at this battle. 
and Koval's going for the pass. Whoa, look out, here they come, side by side. It's a battle royale, a Pier 6 cross starting to erupt here in the Schoolboy 1, 12 to 17 BC. That's Robinson Koval fighting for second and third, and Jesson Turner has been there the whole time, outside looking in. Let me tell you, it'll be no easy task for Koval. It'll be about as hard as 10th grade trigonometry, I can promise you, getting around Robinson. You pass that? Uh, with a I, C plus, I thank you. you let me in. With yeah. a C plus, thank you. And here goes Tiger Woods, slippery as an eel as he plays a quick game of hide and seek with the rest of the field. Man, oh man, he's trying to make a break for it right now. As, as we take a look out there, he's got me laughing right now. As, Come on, as, baby. As, as we roll it down through there, though, look at Robbins. Robbins trying to respond right now, knows what he has to do. We've talked him up. It's go time right now, Weege. Yeah, he's going to have to because Koble got close, and then something for Robbins works better. I don't know if it's better lines, but somewhere in Storyland, he gets away. Last time, Koble was able to close back up. That's what you're watching. Yeah. The first rider in that shot is Robbins in second, and look at that chase pack. Yeah, and you know, like we just said, Robbins was able to respond because a minute ago, it was a lot closer than that, man. There was a pack starting to develop, and look at Tiger Wood right now on your screen. The guy's up over the bar. The elbows are up. We're three laps in right now. He's still down at that uh, two-minute mark, okay? He's three seconds quicker than the rest of the pack. Landon Hart's turning at 159, but that was for one lap. Megawatt keeping on Koval and Robbins. Koval is on Robbins like a Harry, like a Harry Krishner on a tourist in a crowded airport. Be ready. Ooh, uh, misfired. Misfired. Misfire because you bubble. Keep it on him. But I he am so, deaf nonetheless. You had him so keyed up, man. He was sitting there for about 90 <laughs> seconds ready to unleash that one. Thinking about uh, it, thinking about it. Uh, ice to kicker is like you call it. All right, he's all over in like Russian radiation. There you go. Well, <laughs> well executed. Koval, look at this battle. Koval got close to Robbins again. Now we've got Landon Hartz. Landon Hartz is the rider to watch on this number five. He's in fourth, but he might be able to get them both. Second, third, fourth, all in the shot back in Storyland. Yeah, look at this. I, I got to tell you, Hartz is really rolling. Robbins right now, he's in a tough spot. Hartz listen, made the move. He got yep, the third. There we go. So yep. he's in third. Clark Robbins, you are in trouble because the number five of Landon Hartz is on the run. You better look out, Robbins. It's like sticking your feet in a light socket. There's so much electricity going on on the track now. There well, it is. well, somebody's going to get charged up. I can promise you that. They're about to get shocked by the number five as he pulls the trigger. Hartz puts himself into that number four position. He's not done, Weege, by any means. No, not with that lap time. I mean, no. he under two minutes, and even Tiger Wood, our leader, didn't do that. So Landon Hartz, fastest rider on the track. He's in third. He's closing in on second place. Keep an eye on Kay Johnson. We're going to do a check on him, a notable. He's up there moving in the top nine, so he's made the machine in the top ten. Let's see what he can do with that. Hey, Wes Kane, tell me who's in eighth place. Give me the uh, the name there. That is Trinity Bachelor. <laughs> Trinette. <laughs> Trinette Bachelor. Hey. Trinette. Hey. He's got cheese and wine being delivered on the gate before he drops in. Hey, Trinette. It's Trinette. a good. It's a good. Hey, it's a good for me. It's a good for you. It's a good for him. He's in the top ten. All right, here we go. Hey, it's better than him going to battle in the square octagon. The square octagon, it's on right now. We got the square octagon in this battle for second and he just <laughs> went right around him. Landon Hartz making it look easy, coming from fifth to fourth to third, now to second. Tiger Wood is gone. Does Hartz have a shot at running him down now that he's in second place? I believe Hartz does have the heart to get it done. He just got to stay steady and focus and get it done megawatt. You're absolutely right, and you can see that's what he's doing. He's Robbins. racing the track right now. No, he's, he's not, not really concerned. No, Robbins oh. just put it back on him. He just threw fifth the cuffs over there as they erupt. I did not see that coming. Right. I mean, Hartz went right around the outside, and usually For sure. when you do that, you're moving and pulling away, but Clark Robbins responds. Here comes Hartz again. Oh, look out, to the outside. What a slide move, side by side. Inside, outside, who's it gonna be? Man, Hartz having a tough time now. He come rolling through there. Did he get a little spent? Was he a little gassed? You know, does he have to hit the reset button now? Not, not, knock on the door. Who's coming in? It's Hartz kicking the door open and trying to make the move. Well, he did now, and now he's got a couple bike lengths on Robbins, and we're starting to pull away now. So let's see if Hartz can make a run for the leader, Tiger Wood, who has an eight-second lead, but 
He's got some speed for sure. Well, he's going to have to go down 20 miles of bad road rather smoothly if he's going to drop the hammer and catch up our leader. But you know what catch up's for? Hammers and hot dogs and not for Loretta Lynn's motocross. Well, the good news for Tiger Wood is he got on the green and won. Okay, the hard work's done for him right now. He has to maintain, just make smart putts. Tap, tap, tap it in. That's all he needs to do right now, bring it home for the win. Kay Johnson now moves up a spot. We're checking through the ticker now as it comes through. Through our live timing here, Wood out front, Hartz, Robbins, Turner, Colville, Carter, Malcolm, and keep an eye on Austin Schaefer coming out of the south of the border camp. Yeah, Schaefer, he's got some good laps going on right now. Needs to find a little speed somewhere. Needs to get up there. Look at this. Trinity Bachelor picks up a spot. Ryder Thompson also picks one up that time around. Bachelor Battle looks over. Third. Battle for third right there. It looks like Jessen Turner is going to get Robbins on the long short shoot, and we got a new third place rider. Well, wow. there, he, there he is right there. Watch Bachelor now. He hands Kay Johnson the rose and said, will you accept? He said, negative. I'm going to the front. <laughs> well, Jess and Turner absolutely on fire right now. And I have to wonder, Weege, uh, is Robbins a little spent? I know he's in great shape, but it took a lot of effort to get up there, put himself in that position. Did it cost him a little much? Did he use a little too much to get there? Yeah, I mean, he was running second and now back to fourth, and he has the endurance. He got on the podium yesterday. Right. But not in this one. Yeah, I think the sprint or the battle or the pressure might have got to him. Maybe some arm pump. So on the uh, Hunter Racing Machine, the rider out of New Jersey, he's going to have to fight back if he wants a shot at the podium here because Jessen Turner, there he is on that red gas gas, 57, is now in third place. Yeah, in his defense, it looks like he's really stiffened up just a bit. He doesn't have that flow right now, so maybe just a bit out of sync, maybe made a bobble somewhere, might have been uh, an adjustment on the bike, who knows. But There's Robin's just not putting in the same laps he was earlier. Hartz has kind of broke away from that pack. Kevin Kelly over here pointing out. Hartz is kind of by himself now. The battle ensuing is Robbins, Turner, Colville, Malcolm, and Johnson. That's that's like a, a, a nest right there. You want to throw a net over him, you could get all of them in the shot. And listen, talk about getting everybody in a shot. Look at Robbins right now. He's just buried. He's just embattled right now. He's got to fight forward, but he's under attack from behind. Yeah, Carter Malcolm is the next rider on the red gas gas, the back of this group, the 95. He's looking to move forward as well. Hartz, Turner, Robbins, Coble, Malcolm, that's your duel. And then Kay Johnson looking to get in on that in seventh. If you got a camera, use it, because Coble, Malcolm, and Johnson are all in the same picture frame. Yeah, no question. That makes a center fold at any time. Carson Wood right now, eight seconds out. Just about seven minutes left in this thing. Go into management mode right now, West Kane? I believe so, absolutely. Yeah, well, a couple of things happen. When you see the cross flags, it's uh, you know a sense of urgency for some, but some are kind of like, okay, I saw the board, I know where I'm at. I don't want to throw it away. Let's just maintain. But most of these guys out here, they're ready to go to war. We're six laps in. The gap right now is eight seconds. So he pulls a couple 201s off right now. I believe he's safe with only six minutes to go. That's for sure. Yeah, Tiger Woods, no stranger to the game up nope. here. He knows get out, check out. Ten items or less. He hit the express lane, and he's going to the front. Hey, look at this. Thor Powell fighting his way back in. Thor Powell now back up to the 13th position, so not sure exactly what happened. Did he run off the track? Uh, did he have a tip over? That kind of thing. But he was dropping like an anchor there for a bit. He's back up to the number 13 position. I believe that was Thor Powell that had that little tumble early There on we go. Yeah, one great two, so job. Everybody else kind of stayed saying he dropped in, but he's starting to, hey, don't drop out, drop in. Just like on track school, he's back on track. Thor swinging the hammer right now, bringing it 203. Carter Malcolm on the 95. He just passed Clark Robbins, and there's more company. Is that uh, Trinity Bachelor right there? I'm trying to figure out which number that is. So Carter Malcolm on the 95 makes the move. That should put him up to fourth. He's back on track. And right behind him is Robbins on that number nine. And five minutes to go in this one. Tiger Woods lead. Landon Hartz uh, went a little quicker last time around, but the gap is still eight seconds. Let's reset the order. It's Wood, Hartz, Turner. Should be Malcolm. Oh, Carter Malcolm jumps up. Yeah. Jason. He made the move on Robbins wow. just before they got to that sweeper turn. And Owen nice. Coble got back around Robbins. These two have battled the whole Wow. Holy it's cow.
Listen, if there's some hard charger awards to be handed out, man, these guys are in consideration right now because the effort has been there. I was questioning Robbins there just a little bit ago, but listen, hanging tough, and Carter Malcolm not making it easy on anybody. Now, take a look at that 202 by Tiger last time around. Still an eight-second gap, man. We're down to five. He can run those 202s, 201s right now. It doesn't matter. Here's the Yamaha man, Kate Johnson. You're watching him in the Ten Commandments, and he has now caught Clark, Clark Robbins as well. I'm going to guess some arm pump here for Robbins because he was riding so well the first couple laps and then once the battles came he tightened up so I'm gonna think it might be that and now he's gonna deal with Kay Johnson you see the blue gear the blue bike blue crew down on the inside he's looking to take away sixth so a nice little comeback here for Kay Johnson and he's trying to make the pass on Robbins and he makes it uh oh here he goes it's a shuffling of the deck as the dealer now makes the move and he takes a position all right look yeah, at he was Johnson a nice hand right there Kay Johnson and he said he was a, a pair of pocket aces we're going to be watching as we go into moto number two. Hey, you know what I heard from Amy Cochran? Amy Cochran told me yesterday, we ain't playing checkers, we're playing chess. Yep. Yeah. Touchdown, checkmate, three-pointer. He, he did it all. Kicked in the face. Speaking of Amy Cochran, <laughs> we were just over there and uh, doing a great job up there on the booth. Always fun to talk to her on the deck. And you know, probably as tough as any one of our athletes out here is Amy Cochran. I'll tell you that right now. And uh, it was great to see her and hang out with her for a few minutes. And you know, within 10 seconds, you're laughing, you're smiling, you're feeling better about yourself after talking to Amy Cochran. I will guarantee you. Touche. Tiger Wood looks like he's just got to maintain. Uh, Hearts maybe in the next moto if they get out together, maybe Hearts and Wood could have a little something. Megawatt's uh, looking at it very closely. I like to see that Carter Malcolm drop the hammer a little bit. And Kay Johnson, I think you're going to have to give him a big notable. He was well down buried and brought yeah. that machine up in the mix. And I, I, I'm bumming for Robbins right now. Gave up, up another spot that time around. Bottom line is, I honestly have to believe, dude, that he's a bit gas, and that's nothing, nothing whatsoever about his endurance. Watch rider number 95. He's got to move on. It's still not over yet. Malcolm Turner to 57 ride. Watch Carter Malcolm trying to bring that machine. If Malcolm can get around the 57 ride on these closing laps, that puts him up on top of the box for an interview. Listen, all these guys in the top five are alive. No question about that. And the box makes all the difference. So, Wes, get on top of the box. That's the ultimate mission. You got to strive to survive down here. You got to do it three times. You got to suffer. You got to persevere. But you you have to you have to put it together and that, hey easiest way to do that be on the box every hey, time they're still flopping around like fish on a deck out of a boat out of the water and it's not over till you put them in the net <laughs> if, if, if you say so Wes <laughs> hey that's what's happening guys you know how I roll anyway let's watch it right here can Carter Malcolm there they are hey Carter Malcolm over there watch Carter Malcolm now as he rolls up on Turner Malcolm Turner, Willie Manning at home, grabbing his computer, going, go, Carter Malcolm. Malcolm in the middle. Who's it going to be? All right, taking the white flag right now, the number 43. There he comes. Tiger Woods makes his way up and over the Tunnel of Love. Down past the billboard. Here we go on the gas, kicking the roost up. The number 43 not relenting in the least bit. West came one to go. You got to be pumped if you're Brian Johnson, Colleen Millsaps over there. Sure. They put a lot of work into him. And Tiger Woods, a very nice guy. You're walking around and he's very polite. He's very, very, absolutely, very, very knowledgeable and, and probably one of the just the polite goods. I call him a great citizen of the sport. He is, man. He gets an A in citizenship. And so, are, and so, are, so do Brian and Colleen. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, you know, that, that's who you surround yourself with. They that take these guys people. over there, MTF, they mold them. They take, it's like clay over there. They're molding shaping Absolutely, you. Absolutely, man. And they're like Pierce Brown. They're dropping you right into the mix, into the pro rank. So and good stuff. Comes, out comes a beautiful piece of art. Uh, here he is. Done. Hey, I'm Tiger Dude. Wood. Look what I did. They molded my arms bigger than my body. <laughs> well, there he is out there. He looks like Popeye. Uh, but there's Wood, Hearts, Turner, Malcolm. I don't think Malcolm was able to make the move. We're watching now. It's a white flag lap. Kevin Kelly, this is the sense of urgency when it starts to drop in. Yeah, you folks listening at home, watching at home, you see Tiger right there. Man, he just sent it for three up and over there. Still half a lap to go. You don't want to back off the throttle. You guys are used to riding this pace all race long. 
You might give a second or two up, that's fine. But the bike, the body are used to reacting to this, reacting to this rough track. You have to keep that drive to the finish line. That's exactly what the number 43 Tiger Wood is doing right now. Just a few turns left for him. He makes his way onto the beach right now. You see, he doesn't go. He doesn't send it all the way to the beach. Couple corners left, one down into the Bermuda Triangle, and that's gonna be it for the number 43. One last turn. Takes the long way around the Bermuda Triangle. Out he comes. Checkered flag is out. There you have it, the number 43. Tiger Wood with the win. Took control of this one early. Land and Hearts, man. Nothing was easy for that guy as he put himself in the number two position, going to be second on the box. But Tiger Wood took control early, had clean track, had the weight Great job, of man. the entire. This is one of those classes all week long. Our schoolboy classes are always just fantastic. Tiger Wood, yeah. he's won both of them. He's a bad man. A absolutely, no question about that. Uh, hey, uh, Thor Power able to respond. Mini Watt 5 just come in right now, points that out. Thor was up inside the top 10, went down. But hey, man, who, who fought back? those guys, though? Kate Johnson was way, way buried. He was buried. They had the tombstone already ready to go, had it placed on top of him, and he comes all the way back for a top five finish. Heck That's yeah. how they finished on your screen, the top 10. Shout out, Fonzie. Your boy finishes fourth. And number 57, Justin Turner, our fast house kid. Nice work. Cody Samples picked up 14. Good Lord. Yeah, Cody Samples did work. Hey, I want to tell you something. Be proud of that 13th, because when you add 14 to that, that's called 27. Furtado picked up 18 positions. There's some other ones with some negatives by those. That would have been me. Speaking of a negative, I think he's down there on the podium, Jason Wygant. Take it away, Jason. Yeah, we're going to hit uh, Tiger Wood on up here. He had a little extra cooldown time because he had a pretty solid lead in that moto, and it started by getting this whole shot award. And in these first motos, man, that is everything because of the random gate pick. Sometimes you see favorites have their titles slip away in the very first moto of the week. That will not be the case this time because he's looking at the Stasic hole shot and a gold medal. Let's hear it for Tiger Wood. He's familiar with the drill. He knows what it's all about. Coming out of MTF by way of Australia. Uh, how was that moto, man? It was uh, probably the way you, exactly you drew it up. Yeah, man. Um, got 18th gate pick, which was so much better. Um, got up to an amazing start. The links, gas, gas, Dunlop tires. Man, it's such a perfect combination. Gets me up to the great start every time. But yeah, um, struggled a little bit with that moto, but yeah, had heaps of fun. Um, really took, took, took advantage of getting the whole shot and trying to sprint out early. But. Yeah, stoked. Okay. All right, but still more work to do, I know. you. Who do you want to thank, though, for a great week so far? Oh, man, I'd like to thank Daniel, Maddie, and Jennifer from Gas Gas. They do so much for me. 100%. Um, um, Dave and, yeah, everybody from 100%. They help me out so much. Um, Link, Dunlop, Monster, my Monster Mike, and Nixon from Monster. They help, they help me out a lot as well. Um, yeah, just everybody in my corner that helps make this happen. Um, Jacob, Colleen, Lit, Little B, Big B, everybody at MTF. We put in some hard work to get here. So, um, yeah, stoked to be up there. It's not easy making the American dream happen when you start in Australia, but he's becoming a contender here at Loretta's every year. Let's hear it for Tiger Wood. Landon Hartz finished up second in that moto. We'll take him on up. And man, he was putting in some fast lap times to get there. Some great racing in this class. Wood was controlling it with about an eight second gap most of the way, but man, going second to about eighth. Those guys were slugging it out. I'll bring you over to the front here. Hard earned silver medal. Come on out front. Let's hear it for Landon Hartz. Well, you got to be happy, man. You earned that one. Come on down the center. You had to make some passes. You were riding really well. Yeah, I ended up getting 36 gate pick. Uh, the chips didn't do me right this year, but we were able to push through on the first lap and make a lot of passes and really make it count. 
with the lap times you're putting in, do you think you could challenge for gold with a better gate? Uh, for sure, just a little bit better start, and I think I'll be right there with them. Who do you want to thank, Landon? Uh, I want to thank my whole team, EBR. Uh, all of them over there got the bike absolutely died. I couldn't do it without them. Uh, all MTF, uh, Fly Racing, uh, Bill's Pipes, 100%, uh, just everybody else, my mom, my dad, just everybody that's behind me. Thank you. All right, Landon Hearts, everyone, second place. These guys rode hard. Good job, Landon. And last lap change for third place. Carter Malcolm just never gave up on it. And I believe he's going to come up with the bronze. And you never know. A pass or two in the final couple laps, which is what he did, could make all the difference for a title when the week is over. Come on up and let's talk to our bronze medalist, Carter Malcolm. There you go. Put that on. You earned it. And I really mean you earned it. Uh, last lap, did you make a pass? Yeah, I uh, really thought I was farther back. I thought I was kind of fifth and thought that was the pass for fourth, but then I came up and saw it was for third, so it's cool. Hold on a second. We'll let these bikes go by. The thunder in the air of the uh, four strokes. The great age class coming up next. Yeah, were you so far back you didn't even know where you were? Because I saw you probably outside the top five at one point. Yeah, I think I came out. I got an okay gate pick. I was probably seven or eight out and uh, I think I probably came out around eighth or I want to say first few laps weren't amazing I was a little too patient um, and then just kind of got into a groove and started picking some guys off all right who do you want to thank uh, first off I want to thank my all my friends and family here watching everyone back home um, money Inc uh, he's got the bike ripping uh, Willie Manning FAF graphics performance cycle uh, crush gloves performance performance cycle, I already said. Um, links, or not links, sorry. Uh, Ryan Fetzer and everyone else in my corner, thank you. All right, let's hear it for Carter Malcolm, third place. Good job, Carter. All right, that's going to